Welcome, believers and educators of the divine, living in the universe in which God has created. For the past maybe few days, man, somebody hit me up like, like a few days ago, like maybe a couple weeks ago, like, man, you've been kind of out of sync, you know? You letting people get to you. And sometimes you do it too. You let people get to you, try to get you off your square, knock you off your square, knock you off, you know, um, your purpose. They trying to blind you. But God is saying today, tonight, starting tonight, stop putting stuff off, you know, for tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. No, tomorrow ain't going to never come if you keep putting stuff off for tomorrow. It's today. God wants you to get back in sync. God wants us to get back in sync. And what I mean get back in sync, I mean get back into that positive, motivating force within you. You know, tonight, today, tomorrow, every day is a blessed day that we wake up and we can breathe this good air. Every day is a blessed day that we're able to move and work. You know, working is it's a war within yourself that you battle. War king. War king. And if you're a woman, war queen. You know what I mean? W-O-R-K-I-N-G. It's a war that you have to battle within yourself. To make sure you get up and go to work God preaches work within the Bible God will tell you If you don't work you don't eat You know And sometimes I understand Sometimes we get sick and come down with Colds or whatever You know there's COVID going around So it's very important that we take care Of ourselves and eat the right Things yeah you could dibble and dabble With some things that You know you love to taste and I have to tell myself that as well, you know, but also get those fruits in there, those vegetables, those teas, those waters, those juices, you know, and replace some of that with some of those meals. It's not about a health diet program. It's about, you know, healing your inner so that you feel good. When you feel good, you work good and you're able to win that war that you are within yourself, the war king. I notice, like, I don't know if some of you know this, but when you, when you lack work, like times when I lacked work, that's when I usually had my, um, some of my worst days. But when you in that feel good energy and you actually working to win the war within yourself or working when you're actually doing that. You're in the spirit. You're under God. We're under God. And God only blesses those who work. Like they say, good things come to those who wait. But God wants us to work while we wait, right? In that case, good things comes to those who work. And I have to tell myself this constantly. You can... uh call yourself a uh, relaxing like oh i'm gonna just relax for a week or two and you know i'm gonna take a break but um what i understood is sometimes it becomes stress laxing to where you're stressing and you're just laying there because you're buried in stress you know we have to get up and work and um to relax so that it can actually be relaxing and not stress laxing But this is a message not only for you, but it's a message for myself as well. When you feel like laying down and not doing anything, refer back to this video because that work is what God going to bless you through. That work is what God going to use to get you to your destination. That work is what's going to bring you the finer things in life. That work is what's going to bring you the finest wine and finest Women find is love, you know, 
you got to go through the stress of work. And that's one of the hardest things that it is for us to do. But the hardest things to do is what God wants his soldiers to do. Because the hardest things comes with the greatest blessings. And to whom much is given, much is required. If you're giving much, make sure you work and balance it out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Good things comes to those who work. Job in the Bible is spelled J-O-B. A job is not necessarily always doing labor, but it's actually working your mind. You can work your mind, work your hands. If you can't work your body, but if you can't work your mind that good, work your body. Everybody has the, everybody who has the ability to talk, to think coherently has the ability to work. And um, that is why I understand some of my punishment came from for lack of work. And I had to get down and take accountability. Some of us, we need to increase the, um, not necessarily the workload, but increase the uh, improvements and proficiencies in work. Find new ways to work smarter not necessarily work harder, but work smarter in the way that works for you and the company you work for. If you're a CEO, get up and um, do the best that you can. And to work well with others, you have to be diverse. You know, there are certain principles that I stand on personally, but as far as anybody who I work with or will work with in the future, you know, Business is business and personal is personal. Don't get caught up in my personal because I know how to look at everybody basically like a decent human being, especially if you're acting and working as such as a decent human being, you know. But God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day and understand that um, God is there for the ones who work versus the ones who lay down and complain and say, ah, oh, it hurt. If it hurt, Get up and make it feel better. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen.